Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel and today we are checking out Gladiator. This is a movie that I seem to have mostly missed in my time watching movies for some reason. It's directed by Ridley Scott, it has flippin' Russell Crowe in it, and I know it has a great soundtrack because I've heard a few of the songs from the soundtrack, yet I haven't really seen this movie before except for a few snippets here and there. Like I know for example there is a battle at the start of this movie because I've seen some of that battle on YouTube before. I I know there is like a moment where like Russell Crowe's hand is going through these like long grass type things you know what I mean because that's a very iconic shot and I think there's a line or something that he says like are you not entertained or something like that I, I I don't know if that's in this movie or if that's in another movie but I feel like it's in this movie like I know bits and pieces about this movie because it's very famous yet I've never actually seen it before, so I decided to watch it today. And before we get into this reaction, let me do the lighting. So we turn like we said, what color it should be. Boop. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so I think for the lighting today, I'm gonna go like this yellowy orange color, just kind of because I feel like that's gonna work. The thumbnail has Russell Crowe and this woman, and it's very yellow in the background, so I'm gonna be going like yellow orange color today. And if you'd like to check out more of my reactions, you can head over to my Patreon of uncut reactions to many of the movies I watch on YouTube, as well as early access reactions to my movies that come out up to three weeks early. Thank you so much if you check it out. Now let's get back to the video. Okay, I don't know what the plot of this thing is besides I'm pretty sure Russell Crowe is going to be a gladiator eventually. So anyways, I hope you enjoy my reaction to Gladiator. <sighs> gladiator. I hope I'm glad when this movie's over. <laughs> Wait, no. I hope I'm glad that I like the movie when this movie's over. That's what I meant. I don't, I don't want this movie to just be gone. It's the hand shot! Okay, this is the shot that I've seen before. And Russell Crowe looks really cool. Oh wow, this is cool. Oh, this is so awesome. What the heck? So how does he become a general to a gladiator? Because a gladiator is someone who fights in the Colosseum, isn't it? They say no. Oh my god. Oh, we have a cool battle coming, guys. At my signal. Unleash hell. Unleash hell. Hell. Move the catapults. Infantry form up for advance. This is already epic. Three weeks from now, I will be harvesting my crops. Yeah, he will. Well, you are in Elysium. <laughs> and you're already dead. Is that at the very start? You know when he used the hand? The hand on the green fields? Was that Elysium? I wouldn't be surprised if this is a Hans Zimmer score. It's very Hans Zimmer. This is so cool. Oh my days! They actually- it is raining hell. It is raining hell. Oh my god! <laughs> this is so awesome! Aw, oh, good try guys, you can't beat the turtle. Oh. oh, he's on the ground. Get up so you can farm in three weeks. No, that's your friend. <laughs> the smile. I love the chaoticness of it all. Oh, oh my god. The PTSD you would get from one of these battles. If you weren't really dark, you wouldn't have sent for us. Maybe he just misses us. That's Mr. Phoenix. The first thing I shall do. I already don't like this guy. Have to be almost there, sir. He's 
seems so slimy. Is that the sword on the tree that he used to behead someone? I bet this guy is such a wimp as well, like Joaquin Phoenix's character. It's for you, Maximus. They honor you. Also, does Caesar live to be this old? I didn't know he lived to be like old, old. Congratulations. I shall sacrifice a hundred bulls to honor your triumph. No, nah, it's okay. Only fifty, please. Or to roam home. Wife, the sun, the harvest. Oh, that sounds so nice. You, you could be extremely political. I warned you. I shall say. That's true. You could be extremely political if you have an army. Maximus. Going to need. Sexy, isn't he, Maximus? Maximus, we must save Rome from the politicians, my friend. Can I count on you? I feel like this guy just wants absolute power. Don't get too comfortable. I may call one for long. Lucilla's here. Did you know? I don't trust this guy. That sounded like a threat. Why have I come? I need your help. With your brother. Okay, I have a question. I know Caesar created one of, if not the biggest empire in the world with the Roman Empire. But, was he, as a leader, a good leader or just a good conqueror? I think there's a difference. He's not bad with the sword. Do you see that map, Maximus? That is the world which I created. It's actually incredible. Come. Please. Come sit. See, Caesar seems like such a nice, genuine bloke. And cruel and dark. Rome is the light. Yet you have never been there. You've never been to Rome. Anything more than a whisper, and it would vanish. It was so fragile, and I fear that it will not survive the winter. Really? Tell me about your home. I want to hear about it. Black like them. My wife's here. <laughs> Grapes on the south, slopes, olives on the north. Wild Sounds like a beautiful place. I want you to become the protector of Rome after I die. What? To give power back to the people of Rome. Oh my god. The corruption that has crippled it. Joaquin Phoenix is not going to like this. Prefect, a senator, somebody who knows the city, who understands her politics. But you- No, you don't want a politician. Commodus is not a moral man. Yeah. You have known that since you were young. Yeah, exactly. Commodus will accept my decision? No, he won't. I feel like he won't. Being an old man, another blanket. I feel like Commodus is gonna go mega rage mode when he hears about this. What did my father want with you? To wish me well before I leave for home. He basically wants me to rule over Rome and make sure there's no corruption in it. Commodus expects that my father will announce his succession within days. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Well, you serve my brothers, you served his father. Ah, your brother's gonna serve me, punk! <laughs> and I hear you have a son. Yes. Oh, congratulations. Lucius. Lucius Malfoy from Harry Potter. Whisper to them I live only to hold them again. There they are. The rest of the time, I do what I have to. We may not be able to go home after all. Oh. Yes, father. It's not what you, you think. You will not be emperor. Oh my god, mic drop. Until the Senate is ready to rule once more. He's not going to take this well. It's to be a republic again. Oh, he's not going to take this well. Justice, fortitude, and temperance. As I read the list, I knew I had none of them. Yeah. No, you have other sins. For ways to please you, to make you proud. One kind word. I do feel a little bad for him, though. What is this enemy you hate so much? No, he doesn't hate you. He doesn't hate you. I'm so nervous. <laughs> the music, guys. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> He's killing Caesar. He's absolutely assassinating Caesar. I am the emperor now. That's going to hurt him. He 
He did not take the hand. See, I think Commodus has to get rid of Maximus now because Maximus has a lot of power over the armies and he is the true heir. The senators, I need their counsel. Wait, Gaius and Falco. Gaius and Falco. Is it weird that when I hear the name Caesar, I think of Caesar from the Planet of the Apes movies and not Caesar from Rome? I'm sorry, Caesar spoke right until dawn and then execute him. Don't just look at me. Your family will meet you in the afterlife. Oh my god. As their farm kind of looks like the afterlife, it resembles it a little bit. I recognize that actor, the guy with the sword. Sometimes it makes the blade stick. <laughs> Dude, that was so cool. Hey look, there's an extra horse for him. Oh. Oh wow, what a shot. This is giving me Western vibes, and if you haven't checked them out on the channel, I watched all three of Sergio Leone's Western movies with Clint Eastwood, The Man of No Name. Good, The Bad, The Ugly was amazing. Check that reaction out now. Disgusting. I have a feeling that his family are going to be dead. It's going to be like a Luke Skywalker situation in A New Hope. Like look, doesn't that give you the same image that he said uh, the death afterlife was like? Oh no, he's too late. Don't run towards the horses kid, run away! Oh! The kid was just trampled. What did I say? What did I say? This is a Luke Skywalker situation. Oh no. Oh no. I just got chills everywhere. I hope he destroys Commodus. I hope he absolutely obliterates him. He gave them a burial. Hey. Jesus. Tearing up a little bit there. What the heck? I guess I can also understand how he becomes a gladiator now because Maximus has been basically red listed, you know what I mean? Blacklisted, if you will. He's supposed to be dead. He can't serve Rome anymore. <laughs> The wound on his arm! Wow, that's a beautiful city. They have a mini coliseum! They just walk around eating and not painting. How is he supposed to know that? Me. Queer giraffes. Queer giraffes! I my money back. <laughs> Need both, I think. Get up. I like this guy. I'll give you two thousand. <laughs> I'm four for the beasts. That's five thousand for an old friend. Wait, wait, wait. Did he say two thousand for the men? Four thousand for the beasts? That's five thousand for an old friend? I think his math is off. Your transition shall be to the sound of Applause. Gladiators. I salute you. Oh my days, and now he has become a gladiator. Red. Red. What does this mean? Strong and weak? You can take a beating, so that's good. He's trying to dig out the tattoo. Well, that not anger there. He wants them to be angered because they didn't protect his family. All the vultures, wow. They all say that until they're out there. Fighting for their lives with the crowd behind them. Ultimately, we're all dead men. How many people get to live? We can decide how we meet that end in order that we are remembered.
<laughs> you know what? I got, like that guy's speech, though, in terms of he wasn't talking down to them, which was kind of nice to hear, actually, even though he did buy them and they are his slaves. Still, it was, in it was interesting. <laughs> but yeah, how many people get to live through this combat trial? No! Even trial, I guess. This is the actual event. He knows that guy isn't making it very far. Oh, I would hate to be first. You just die instantly. Oh. Oh, his arm. I'm glad this guy's still alive. I'm glad they're working together, actually. Maybe they'll become best friends. Ooh, into the spike wall. Oh, no way. No way he's still going. Okay, well, not for much longer. He's dead now. Wow, oh, what a shot. So, like, three people survived that whole thing. Wow, I feel like I'd fall off the back of one of those. That's like the hate him. They hate him as emperor. I'm glad. I think he could do very well. For Rome or for you. That is a beautiful shot, by the way. These effects are incredible. Subjects, I trust they weren't too expensive. Caesar. <laughs> I trust they weren't too expensive that he paid them to be there. Senate has prepared a series of protocols to begin addressing the many problems in the city. If I had a sword, I would do that as well. With basic sanitation for the Greek. Has anyone seen uh, the Monty Python one with <laughs> with the Romans? <laughs> and I shall hold them to my bosom and embrace them tight. Have you ever embraced someone dying of plague, sire? No, but... Who would beg to lecture me? Commodus. Bro, you're like a child. He said it himself, it achieved nothing. But the people loved him. People always love victories. Yeah, that's true. Well, what is that? It's an idea. Mm, Greatness. It's always an idea. And they'll soon forget the tedious sermonizing of a few dry old men. I can see his vision for Rome and it's pretty ugly. It's really cool, actually, that replica of the Colosseum. When you go to Rome and you visit the Colosseum, can you actually go inside the Colosseum as well? Oh, this is epic. Fear and wonder, a powerful combination. You really think that people are going to be seduced by that? Yeah, I actually do. You conjure magic for them and they'll be distracted. Yeah, he basically is distracting them. He'll bring them death and they will love him for it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I think he's actually, this is a smart move for him. Does Maximus have a reputation now as being the best? Oh, he does! Look, and this is like when he was a general rocking through the ranks of the soldiers, but you know, now he's a slave. Oh! He's good enough to go to Rome! He's dual wielding. Dude, you just got double stabbed. You got double stabbed and then beheaded. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Oh, it's from this movie. You're good, Spaniard, but you're not that good. What do you mean he's not that good? That's enough for the provinces, but not for Rome. Do you need, like, flair for Rome? Oh, you should see the Colosseum, Spaniard. I would love to see it in real life. The silence before you strike, and the noise afterwards, it rises. It's like a football match. Present me with the Rudius. It's just a, a wooden sword. Oh, wow. I didn't know you could win a freedom. He touched me on the shoulder, and I was free. <laughs> I didn't actually realize that was a thing. You ask me what I want. I, too, want to stand in front of the Emperor. To kill him. Best because I kill quickly. I was the best because the crowd loved me. 
Yeah, you gotta hype it up for the crowd. You gotta chew and play with your food a bit. Tell us until we are fat and happy and can suckle no more. And then, when enough men have died, you will get your freedom. Perhaps you will have your freedom. Ah, let's go. I have chills again. My country. My home. I hope this guy can be free. I will die soon. They will not die for many years. So you'll be lonely in the afterlife. Are you waiting for me? You'll meet them again. Or not yet. No, he has a mission. Wow, that's beautiful. So I bet the Emperor doesn't go watch all the games, but I bet he's going to hear of the Spaniard and have to go watch because of how entertaining he's become. That's my theory. Have you ever seen anything like that before? I didn't know men. Absolutely beautiful. Ah, oh, he's so weird. I have a suspicion that he's the kid's father, that there is incest in this movie because he was really weird at the start of the movie in the carriage, like really touchy. He's always been touchy with this woman and creepy. I will make Rome the wonder of the ages. Or maybe he's just a weird guy. I don't know, man. Commodus, drink this tonic. I hope she poisoned it. I hope he dies. You know I won't. Oh, this is weird. Oh, this is weird. Okay, I thought they were gonna just start making out. I think that's what he wanted too. Oh, I think my theory of incest is absolutely correct. I love seeing the scale of the Colosseum. And you can crawl back down that shithole that you came from. That guy looks like Rowan Atkinson, but like a B tier Rowan Atkinson. They said you were a giant. They said you could crush a man's skull with one hand. I can with my pinky, actually. They're taken from me. I like you, Spaniard. I shall cheer for you. Oh yay! What does your father say? My father's dead. I don't think so. Lucius Ferris, after my father. Oh, snap, crackle, and pop. See, I don't think he wants to be seen yet. It's actually pretty cool. Enters! Raise your weapons, salute him, and then speak to Oh, the Emperor is always going to be watching. So you have the mask on so he doesn't see who you are. Wow. Wow! Do you think those poles look like giant dildos? Ah, uh, he didn't do it. On the Baron, plain, absurd. There's no way. If you were on the other side of this coliseum, you wouldn't be able to hear him. Anyone here been in the army? Yes. I served with you at Vindavana. Dude, keep them alive. Africana! Oh my god, chariots! No, that's unfair. Come together! Oh! That guy was not close. These guys, get close! Oh, this is really cool. Oh! Oh my days! Nice kick. Aye! Oh, nice throw. She's been cut in half. This is pretty cool. Oh, nice. I have chills. The music, the epicness of this all. Oh! Off with their heads! Woo! 
the music? I've heard this song before, I think. Drop your weapons. Drop them. Gladiator, the Emperor has asked for you. Wow. Oh, there he is. Dude, stab him. Don't take the helmet off. Don't take the helmet off. Guys. Ah. Oh no, the kid ruined the moment. You do have a name. My name is Gladiator. Oh. Oh snap. My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius. Loyal servant to the true emperor, Marcus Aurelius. Oh my god. Father to a murdered son, husband to a murdered wife, and I will have my vengeance. Woo, yeah, he will. Um. No, 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 this is unfair. We still have an hour left of this movie. What's gonna happen now? He's revealed himself. I thought he was gonna do that at the very end. Oh, the crowd gets to vote. And he gets to make the decision with his thumb? Oh, that's sick. Let him live, but he's just gonna keep fighting and fighting and fighting until he dies. Woo, the music. Oh, I got chills again from the music. Maximus, Maximus, yes! They lied to me in Germania. They told me he was dead. Wow, they lied. Oh, uh, what are you doing? Interesting. My son was innocent. So is mine. Yeah, that's true. Don't you understand? Today I saw a slave become more powerful than the Emperor of Rome. The gods. That's true. The mob is Rome. And while Commodus controls them, he controls everything. Yeah, someone in the Senate said that Rome was the mob as well. So kind of cool comparison there, being brought back. That man is gone. Yeah, a lot has happened in between. I like how they still call him General now. <laughs> oh, I like this guy. You have a great name. Yeah, Maximus is a sick name. But I do try to be a man for the people. But, uh, the lady, the lady talked to him. In his majestic charity, the emperor has deigned this day to favor the people of Rome. It's this guy. Really? He's no match for Maximus, that's for sure. To give you alias Maxim yeah! Much sooner than that, it's been arranged. What? What's been arranged? Like, his death is scripted in this? There's no way he's gonna go, what? Oh, what? Who are you guys? This is cheating! They keep opening it whenever he's close. I would hate to be the person holding the tiger. Yeah, see, they're stopping the tiger from killing him. Oh, nice! Now he can be called Maximus the Tiger Seller. So it's Seller? Seller Slayer. Oh, nice. You didn't think it was gonna be this easy, did you? Yeah, he's gonna say kill. No. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know why I want him to die. Actually, what the heck? No kill him. Let's go. Oh. Um, hello. What are you doing? He's about to beat them all up with his fists if he has to. As I do. 
I have only one more life to take. <laughs> they tell me your son squealed like a girl. Okay, dude. And your wife moaned like a whore. And again. I actually want the worst to happen to this guy. That's honorable. He didn't lash out or anything. He's just saving it for the right moment. What a satisfying moment it's going to be as well. Oh. This is one of the things he was praying to for his family. To my wife. That is not your business. <laughs> I will not make a martyr of him. What are you going to do then? We will lie still and let our enemies come to us. Have every senator followed. Every senator followed. Oh. Is he gonna bring that army to Rome? Take over? Leave us. Is it gonna be like Roman Game of Thrones? I heard there's a show called Rome. Is that any good? I wouldn't watch it on the channel, but is that any good to just watch in my own time? This is madness. No Roman army has entered the capital in a hundred years. Exactly. Uh, that's about to happen. Take your ship for another. The time for half measures and talk is over. You need to overthrow this empire and then he'll get out. You'll take your 5,000 warriors and leave. Yeah, he doesn't, want to, he doesn't want to rule. He just wants to revenge. His daughter trusts you. So I will trust you. I will trust you. Yes, let's go. And as for me, Yeah, he's being watched. You would die for the memory of your ancestors. But I, on the other hand, I'm an entertainer. Oh no, you can't trust him anymore. You killed the man who set you free. Ah, uh, that's true. Oh, that's true. Maybe he can't be trusted now. Does Gracchus have a new lover? Yeah, I just realized Joaquin Phoenix is in Ridley Scott's newest movie coming out soon, which is Napoleon. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. Oh my god, even as an actor, how do you do something like this? You gotta be so uncomfortable if I was Joaquin Phoenix. Oh, you can see how trash she is. You've got very persuasive friends. I'm glad he's here to help. I'm tired of being strong. Yeah, that's fair. No. Because my father loved you. Mm. He didn't love his son, which makes sense. Commodus is a horrible man. Because I loved you. Unfortunately, Maximus doesn't love you. I'm not sure how I feel about this kiss. So this is like a smooch smooch. And I guess they have a previous history, but I would have thought he wasn't going to kiss anyone anymore because his wife and kid, you know what I mean? Roman warrior like Julius Caesar. I'm Maximus, the savior of Rome. The savior of Rome. Oh God, why would you say that? Why would you say that to the emperor? Where's Lucius? He's with the emperor, my lady. Oh no. He was betrayed. But those closest to him. Oh God, and looks at his sister. By his own blood. Oh God, he knows. But the Emperor Claudius knew that they were up to something. He knew they were busy little bees. And it's one like, night. Uh... <laughs> what do you think happened then, Lucius? I don't know, Uncle. They died. <laughs> Is that all gonna start unraveling right now? Open the gates! He's like, sorry, what? I'm trying to sleep. Here. Everything is prepared. Oh, nice. Dude, the score? I think it's Hans Zimmer. It sounds a little bit like Paris of the Caribbean. We wait here for you, Maximus. Strength and honor. Let's go, boys. Oh. Oh, he's got his stuff there. Jesus. 
that is nuts. Oh. No. 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 I don't know. I think this is a trap. Oh, never mind. Oh no, it is a trap. Oh god. Wow, that was really cool actually how that was executed. I don't see you being merciful. Wow. She decides. Oh, she's right there. What a reveal. And takes her own life. He will die. Now she's like trapped, trapped, trapped too. Of pure blood. So that karma does. So Lucius isn't his son. Will rule for a thousand years. I was thinking it was gonna be his son the whole time. Am I not merciful? You're not merciful. He's gonna be executed in the Colosseum in front of everyone. The gladiator defied an emperor. He did defy you. And to challenge the emperor himself in the great arena. Why would you put yourself up against him? Do you think I'm afraid? I think you've been afraid all your life. Yeah, he has. It's the invincible, who knows no fear. I bet there's gonna be cheating involved though. It won't just be a simple one-on-one. -on -one. You loved my father, I know, but so did I. Why you kill him then? Smile for me now, brother. <laughs> oh, so he's at a disadvantage now. You know, I love the Emperor's outfit. Still touching it. You can see the blood trickling down his leg. That's really good attention to detail. Okay, you pleb. Oh. Oh, nice! If there's blood, oh, I was gonna say if there's blood, it'll show up really nicely on Commodus's outfit. Oh, nice. Quintus, sword. No, man, this is not how it works. Your sword. Oh my God, yes, Quintus, yes. Oh, you little cheater! The hit punches are so good. Like the hit sounds. Oh my god. The silence. Oh my god, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> Even the crowd's like, what do we do? What do they call um, the afterlife, Elysium? It's his home. Free the prisoners, go. Wow, I think he's gonna die. Be with his family. I think that's how it's always gonna have to end. I know this song. I heard this song before. I think he's actually gonna die. He's dead. He's dead. Oh! We believed it once. Make us believe it again. Ah, let's go. Who will help me carry him? Everyone will. standing up for him leaving as well and the emperor is just left there to rot i'm glad this guy lived though now we are free that's what this song's called isn't it now we are free it makes sense now and that must be the end of the movie Directed by Ridley Flippin' Scott. That was such a good movie. 
It was Hans Zimmer and Lisa Durer. I don't know who she is, but Han I knew it was Hans Zimmer. It sounded like Hans Zimmer. It sounded very reminiscent of Pirates of the Caribbean at times. And that was my reaction to Gladiator. The two oh, 2000, okay. I thought this movie came out around 2004, but 2000 actually came out a lot earlier than I thought. Anyways, 2000, Axure, Axure. I was mixing up. I, I just can't speak today. I think I'm just like dumbfounded by how good this movie was. Action adventure movie starring Russell Crowe and Joaquin Phoenix, and then also directed by Ridley Scott and score by Hans Zimmer. Just a whole bunch of big names attached to this movie, and just a huge, big blockbuster, epic, awesome action thrill ride that this movie was. It was so much fun to watch. The visuals were still outstanding. It came out 2000, so 23 years ago, and it still looks fantastic. Russell Crowe's performance was amazing. The music by Hans Zimmer, and there was this other woman, I forgot her name now, but I have to attribute her to the score as well because it was Hans Zimmer and her. The music was absolutely fantastic. The story I thought was really interesting, and some of the acting by Joaquin Phoenix was so terrifying and creepy and slimy like it was just a really phenomenal movie overall and i felt like the two and a half hours really flew by for me it felt more like a two hour movie than a two and a half movie except the last like third of the movie it took a little longer like it felt like it was lasting a little longer for me not because i thought the movie was a dragon or anything i was really enjoying my time with the movie but because i really had to pee so <laughs> so i was just like oh my god i need to pee but i'm gonna watch this movie first i don't want to leave this movie's too epic <laughs> you know what i mean yeah so let's talk about the score because the score is something that i already knew about the movie that i already knew the score was good but i didn't know who the composer was and i only had listened to like two of the songs i had the song at the end i think it's called now you are free or something like that that song is on my study playlist i think that's a really fun song or not even a fun song just a really beautiful and nice song and I it just comes on you know it's a playlist of like a thousand film soundtracks and that's one of the songs so if I shuffle it, it if and it comes on I'll listen to it because it's really beautiful but I know of that song and then you know that theme of that song of now we are free kind of kept interjecting through some of the other songs and so they were very recognizable to me but I've never fully listened to the score before so some of the music was new and the music was fantastic and again I didn't know it was Hans Zimmer because I don't usually look at the composers when I'm listening to music and like because I usually already know the composers the composers but I didn't know for sure if this was like a Hans Zimmer or like a, another famous composer but I kind of guessed it was Hans Zimmer because it had those bombs in it that Hans Zimmer is very famous for and there were definitely moments in this movie that gave me Pirates of the Caribbean vibes and Pirates of the Caribbean I forget when that came out, like 2006 to 2008. I think 2008 maybe the first one came out, but I'm not 100% sure. But it just gave me like, like, ba 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 na, you know, like that kind of tune, like the big, loud, everything's just blaring in your face music and exciting adventure music and stuff like that. Like that was playing in Gladiator. And I was like, oh, this kind of sounds like Pirates of the Caribbean. So maybe it is Hans Zimmer, but don't get me wrong. Just because it sounds like Pirates of the Caribbean, I'm not taking anything away from Gladiator. I mean, this movie came out first and the score was so good when the the battles were happening it was epic and it was loud and it was intense and it just added so much more weight to everything and then in the quieter moments it added so much more emotion now we are free at the end was very emotional but I actually didn't get as emotional during that part of the movie as I thought I would the most emotional part of the movie that I got actually was when his he found out his family died for the first time and he saw them hanging and you just see the beautiful camera work by Ridley Scott there just slowly showing you and then you see her feet the wife's feet first and then you see the kids feet and then that part got me the most emotional I was actually tearing up a little bit during that part and the music really brought it all together really brought it home with this beautiful soft and subtle score after we'd just been listening to this loud and brash score for like 40 minutes of the movie it just tones it down it gets really quiet it gets really soft very intimate we're very intimate with Russell Crowe in that moment as well we're like right up in his face and I thought the music did a great job to portray his emotion and I mean he, he, Russell Crowe did a great job to portray Maximus's emotions on screen but I thought the music really embodied that scene I thought that was probably one of my favorite pieces of score in the movie I also have something uh, interesting that I just thought I thought it was very interesting that Russell Crowe's home or I guess Maximus's home in the movie his farmhouse was very reminiscent of the 
afterlife and that is something i think that is intentional but maybe not intentional at the same time i'm not quite sure but i believe it is intentional because when they were talking i think it's elysium that's what they called the afterlife i'm not 100 percent sure but i think i'm gonna call it elysium but if it's something else i'm very sorry but i'm gonna call it elysium but you know at the very start of the movie you see his hand going through this tall green grass and it's very beautiful and very peaceful and stuff and then we cut to the battlefield and then a little bit later on they talk about Elysium and someone's like do you believe in the afterlife or something like that and he's like yeah I believe in the afterlife I believe in Elysium you know tall grass fields and stuff just to wander through endlessly and stuff like that happiness and stuff like that and then I brought back it brought me to the image at the very start of the movie which was the hand going through the grass and I was like oh what if that is Elysium like what if that is alluding to him dying or something like that in the future but then he also talked about his farm and i was like oh but his farm sounds like that the green grass and everything i mean the fruit and stuff was there but then the green grass as well when we, when we see an image of his farm when we actually visually see his farm on screen it looks like elysium with the big rolling hills of green grass and stuff and i just thought that was interesting especially because his family dies and then he dies at the end and he ends up at his farm maybe it's almost foreshadowing his death and his family's death or or i don't really know maybe it just resembles his happy place and the afterlife is his happy place because that's where his family is and he ends up there at the end of the movie he dies but he's happy to be dying because again he gets to see his family i'm not quite sure what the intentions of that are but i feel like it was intentional because they were basically elysium and his home maximus's home were basically visual and i don't know when he was talking about them they were representations of each other I also thought Ridley Scott's directing in this movie was absolutely fantastic for some of the huge battle scenes. Like, for example, the first battle scene at the start of this movie, I knew there was a battle scene, but I ha don't really know. I didn't really know anything that was going to happen during it when the arrows were being fired and the catapults were being fired and the horses were, were charging through the forest. Everything was just edited really well together and the shots were so well done. Like, they were framed wide enough where you could see everything happening. And even in the actual battle moments, you may have noticed it's very like shaky cam in the battle moments at first it was annoying to me a little bit but then i kind of got used to it and it worked really well for me it just gave me like this very chaotic feeling like i felt unsafe watching it the whole time i felt like i was a gladiator crawling on the ground struggling to find safety or something like that and i thought it worked really well and it was never too blurry there's only one moment in the first battle for example where the camera gets like the old like 2000s era very blurry slow-mo and stuff like that it looks it's very cheesy today but you know it was something that everyone did at the time but you know in every other battle including the first battle when the camera is close up to everyone and the slaying is happening and the stabbing is happening it makes sense that the camera is so chaotic and in the gladiator battles compared to the first battle the camera was less so cutty and chaotic because there's not as much happening around the camera so it's more so focused on russell crowe's maximus and him fighting people and the camera still cuts quite a bit but it doesn't cut as much as it does in the first battle and so you get to see a lot more of the combat and the movie didn't really shy away from any brutality the movie doesn't cut away from beheading heads or beheading limbs or stabbing people in the gut so that was pretty entertaining overall not saying that i find stuff like that like fun in real life but in movies it's very entertaining and yeah again the visual effects and everything the grandiose of this movie should not be underestimated just the battle at the start again with so many extras going to the roman Colosseum and having so many extras you could tell that a lot of it was a physical set when people are walking around the sands and you see the actual real people in the background i don't know how much was digital i don't know how much was real people but it all looked very real you know the wide shots of the Colosseum are obviously digital but then you go into the Colosseum and it looks very real like the sets were fantastic the the conception of Rome, the way that the visuals and the realness of like the extras and everyone kind of converged to create what Rome would have looked like in its glory days was absolutely fantastic and it was beautiful yet very grimy at the same time and yeah overall I really love this movie and I need to talk about Joaquin Phoenix very quickly as well Russell Crowe did a great job as Maximus but Joaquin Phoenix I thought was actually the standout when he was on screen because he was so slimy and annoying and irritating but also so scary and like deranged at the same time because you just never knew what he was going to do and I hated it and I thought his performance was fantastic so anyways that is going to be the end of my review of Glass 
Gladiator. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to these wonderful, beautiful, amazing people right here for supporting me and supporting my channel. It really does mean a lot. Remember, now you can head over to my Patreon and you can get early access to videos up to three weeks early, which is very much ahead of YouTube. And if you, if there are any other movies that are similar to Gladiator or anything like that, any other movies in general that you'd like me to watch, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time for my next movie reaction.